moving on here so that we are we are going to now be moving on to the International School of Bangkok or ISB as it's lovingly known. International School Bangkok is one of the top international schools in Thailand and Asia. They run an accredited and challenging international curriculum guided by leading educational research and global best practice incorporated into North American and international baccalaureate diploma frameworks. They prepare students to become leaders in meeting the ever-changing needs of the world and equip them with the knowledge and skills to become caring global citizens. Their vision is to enrich communities through the intellectual, humanitarian, and creative thoughts and actions of learners. And they are driven by the core values and their core values, their mission, and their definition of learning. And I'm happy to now to bring Mr. David. Well, heck. You know what, David? I'm gonna, I, I, I now have a, an embarrassing thing to admit that your name says Mr. Mr. Chris Mott there, and I apologize for that's, that. That's okay. I go by Chris all the time. Uh, it's all right. Uh, no, Chris, Chris Mott's my, my great colleague in the athletics department. Uh, you, everyone can just, just call me David. <laughs> no worries. I'm, and I apologize for that. For some reason, my overlay, the the overlay here, is is incorrect. But uh, we'll we'll let that ride for right now. David, you are actually. I'm going to get this right. You're the admissions manager at ISB. And um, well, sure, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I help with that for sure. Yeah. Excellent. So I will. Um. A little. Let, this, this is interesting. This, this is starting out to be a great, great you know, second day for me. <laughs> putting my foot in my mouth. But anyway, I, I went, before we get started, I want to encourage everyone, you know, we are live today and uh, this is happening live right now. It's 930 in the morning in Bangkok. Um, and so if you do have a question, if you have a comment, if you have an observation, if you have something that you'd like to ask one of our schools or one of the, our individuals here from the schools, um, you know, please put it in the chat. We do see it. And, you know, that also gets you a chance to win some of those prizes like that Amazon gift card or my favorite that uh, Sophie Tell um, Bangkok, you know, the one night stay at the Sophie Tell Bangkok and, and some of it. Um, so anyway, David, um, as I've been to the other speakers or the other presenters here, why don't, you know, I, I've given sort of the overall blur what why don't you, you know what's ISB mean to you what's what, you know why don't you put your opinion on the table there right yeah so so thanks Stephen and you know, hello everyone from ISB I think the the way Stephen described us uh, gave a really good sort of uh, let's say background or information on what ISB prepares kids for and who the kids sort of go out to be when they go into their life in college and after college as well. But one thing that I would like to only add to it, I don't want to sort of, uh, you know, repeat anything you said is that uh, the two sort of things that really make ISB, I think, a really special school are, there's two words, one is opportunity, the other mm -hmm. one is balance. And here at ISB, uh, we really encourage kids to either follow their passions or discover what those passions could be through the many opportunities that exist at the school. And that can be in the arts, athletics, STEM things, uh, languages, whichever it is, uh, there's so many opportunities here for the kids to either try something new, continue with something they truly love to do, uh, and you know, really pursue who they are at the school. And that really, as soon as you, and when the school helps you figure out who you are um, while you're there, that helps you easily you know, make good uh, decisions on where you wanna go for university and what you wanna do later on in your life, right? And so. Every kid that comes here, some kid will be more of a scientist. Some other kid might be more of an athlete or a musician or a writer. And having those opportunities for those kids uh, here really makes this school a really special place. And I'd mentioned balance and the fact, the fact that there are so many opportunities. We want kids to get that balance in those things in there as well. Um, and so when you know we talk about having leaders for the future and present day, you want we want those people um, mm -hmm. to know who they are and you know what they believe and have that balance in their life as well. And so I think at ISB will really prepare kids well um, to have that kind of life ahead of them, you know, once they once they graduate here, or maybe they just leave halfway through uh, the ISB experience. Maybe they leave after elementary school, but because of the way our values are in are sort of inherently in our curriculum, we sort of kids who leave us halfway through the, the ISB experience still, you know, go on and have some of that you know, later on, wherever they go. Fantastic. Um, I, I thought I had the first question here, but it looks like Anu beat it, beat me to it. So Anu is asking, 
Um, could you tell me what ISB is doing to encourage sustainability at your school and how can students engage in sustainability learning? So there's, um, there's, okay. Yeah. So it really, that's, if you, you can have this conversation almost at any division at our school, but the way we look at sustainability, of course, the campus itself, uh, you know, we invest a lot in making sure that we have a sustainable sort of a program at the school in terms of the way we, you know, our energy use, uh, the way we use supplies and, you know, all of that, you know, as a, as a, we always try to update, you know, what we can to make sure that our carbon footprint goes lower. And that includes like, a, you know, just like planning trips in certain ways and where we go and how we go there. So things like this. And of course, for the kids themselves, um, it all really starts in the smallest little things. Like, so one quick example I can give is when we, you know, have when kids go for lunch mm -hmm. in the at school, right? Like we want, we really expect or not expect, but we try to teach the kids two two things really when it comes to eating. One is, you know, don't you know, try not to waste food. And so we help kids do this or learn this by giving them smaller portions, right? Mm -hmm. Now, if a kid really loves lasagna and wants to eat a whole batch of lasagna, they absolutely can. They just have to get out of their chair and go get more each time. <laughs> but that's or just giving these small portions means that kids, you know, when they go and clear their plates there's very little to nothing left on there, right? And so mm -hmm. that's how we would help the kids get into the habit of that. Um, other examples, you know, could be like when we have a lot of our art uh, program involves a lot of, you know, reused and uh, recycled materials. So when kids, you know, do artwork, a lot of that art is made from recycled things that the school collect, whether it's, you know, uh, paper rolls or cardboard or, you know, old electronics, even, you know, kids make stuff out of that. Um, and so by having this part of your curriculum really encourages kids later on, um, to, you know, think twice before they throw something away, you know, and maybe, you know, this has a second life as something else. And mm -hmm. I think one other thing that the school would do, we do partner with certain charities and foundations that, you know, promote, you know, the reuse of something. I know one off the top of my head, it's called Second Chance Bangkok, and they collect uh, like materials and they repurpose them into something else. Like I myself, I have a wallet made out of some other fabric uh, mm. from them. I know ISB, what we did recently, I don't know if it was last year or the start of this year, we looked, took a lot of our old uniforms. So for kids who were leaving the school, they gave us their uniform and we gave it a second chance and they made these beautiful ISB elephants out of it. So we got, you know, these different colors of this thing and now we sell them in our shop and those proceeds go back uh, to second chance, you know, to that charity itself. So in terms of there's lots of opportunity there, um, you know, at the school for kids to do this. And like, finally, what I want to say is once the kids are a little older, for sure, when kids want to get themselves involved in their community in that way, we do support that. So there's clubs in the middle school where kids can go and do cleanups uh, in the middle. And that's both middle school and high school. Uh, in high school, there is, I can't remember the name of it right now, but there's even a club that I think like tries to promote sustainability on campus and that's run by the students themselves, mm -hmm. um, right? And they look students who are, who use the school the most, right? Um, they notice these things, you know, you know, usually quickly and those, you know, those, um, let's say ideas from them or suggestions are heard and often incorporated, you know, when we can. Fantastic. I'd like to ask a, what I think is probably a, a ridiculously practical question. Um, I know that when our family first moved to Bangkok, you know, we were looking around schools, one of the, and ISB was one of the ones we considered. Um, one of the things for someone who's coming into Bangkok for the first time may not understand is you're not located in central Bangkok. You know, you're not located in like the, the that Sukhumvit sort of on the, on the Sukhumvit channel or the corridor there. Can you tell us about getting there what is what is the the campus like you know what you know what do do people commute back and forth from central bank th those kinds of things like um how do, how do you differentiate there and how do you accommodate that yeah yeah like i we took of it i call that expat bangkok right that's <laughs> oh yeah so definitely like i think oh, it's, uh, the, it's definitely i think it's a that's a question that can go in in many different ways but let's let's sort of try and focus it so I would say first and foremost, half of our families live downtown and half live close to the school. Mm -hmm. So whichever one you want to be, if you want to live close to the school and have that sort of lifestyle, or you want to be downtown and have that lifestyle, both are absolutely possible, right? So half the kids come to school by bus every morning and then go home in the afternoons. Uh, the kids who live up here, um, they walk to school, they can ride their bike. And I see kids as young as kindergartners, so five-year-olds who ride their bike to school alone. 
on our, you know, in the safe bike lanes that are on the roads here. Um, so really, and of course, you probably you've heard like there's lots of golf carts in Nichitatani. So if you do, uh, if you're after that, you can definitely, you know, join that uh, golf cart club here as well. Um, but yeah, it's actually, it's just about 18 kilometers from, let's say, Sukhumvit or expat uh, mm -hmm. Bangkok, which is not a far distance. And for families who come here, uh, whether you're coming from Europe or the States or Australia, schools often are not right around the corner from you, right? The fact that half of the families that go to school have the school around the corner is something that's usually brand new mm -hmm. for a lot of the you know, incoming families. And I myself, I went to high school in China and I did a commute that was twice the distance. And I actually, my being personally, I enjoyed it, right? And most of the kids, from what I understand, it's a good time for them to take a break, uh, get an extra, you know, half an hour snooze in there, you know, watch that video that their friend sent them or something. So the commute itself, it's, I think it's absolutely, you know, manageable this way. And for, if you are going to a school downtown and you do take the bus, often case, you spend the same amount of time on that bus anyway. Um, so it's not so much the time that you spend there. Now to get up here, of course, the kids get picked up, you know, quite early, but they get here within 35 to 40 minutes usually. And when they go home, it's about the same amount of time to get home as well. Um, we have sort of, we have a company that runs our transportation. Um, it's called Montre. They have vans, buses, um, and kids, there's a monitor on there as well. So it's perfectly safe and the kids get picked up at the door of their condo downtown and they get dropped off there if they leave right after school. And if they leave, if they have an after school activity, um, they usually get dropped off close to there or at the bottom of the soy, let's say, so they have a short walk down the thing. And in the order the kids are, we sort of, if with parent permission, we can drop them off like at a, like a big point where the kids can make their way home on their own as well. Fantastic. You know, one of the things that we learned yesterday in our, in our summit here is how fast the time flies. Um, I know that your formal, the formal presentation for ISP is about 10 minutes long here. So I'd, I'd like to actually uh, move over into the formal presentation, but I want to encourage everyone to put some questions in the chat for you, or they can always, I've now changed it so that your name is there correctly. You can reach out to Mr. David Greffel there uh, on, on the screen so that they know exactly who to reach out to. Um, and then uh, directly after this, we're going to actually be having uh, your colleague uh, uh, join us as well to talk about the athletic as well. But I want to thank you for your time today. And um, oh I wish you all the best. Absolutely. Thanks, Stephen. Bye. All right. Without further ado, I will uh, move on to the ISB presentation. Welcome to International School Bangkok. Or as we like to call it, ISB. Hello! <laughs> Welcome. Our school was founded in 1951. It is the oldest international school in Thailand and one of the best international schools in the world. This is because learning is at the heart of our school and everything is done to improve our learning, to challenge and support us and to ignite our passions. ISB is located inside a beautiful international community, just outside the heart of the city. The housing in the community is fantastic. There are executive staff homes, townhouses, high-rise apartments with lived use and more. You'll want to stay here forever. The majority of ISB families live in the community that surrounds our campus. 
which makes it possible for us to walk or ride our bikes to school. For those of us that live downtown, we use the school's bus service, which gives kids all around Bangkok the chance to ride to and from ISB comfortably and safely. ISB's 37-acre campus is amazing. That's 15 hectares. That's 150,000 square meters. It's a very big campus. She were here, I'd grab her by the throat and teach her a lesson she wouldn't forget. Oh, no, no. Our performing arts, athletics, and academic facilities are among the very best in Asia. One of our favorite facilities is our cultural center, which is a cutting edge, energy efficient five story building, which houses a 280 seat theater, dance rooms, band rooms, choral rooms, and more. In fact, the culture center is the first building in Thailand to have earned the lead goal certificate awarded by the US Green Building Council. We also have a 700 seat theater, two swimming pools, indoor and outdoor gymnasiums, a great fitness center, tennis courts, two awesome libraries, and an all weather track that is the absolute best in the country. I have been to a lot of international schools and I have to say that the investment that ISB has made in technology and resources is totally amazing. ISB values well-rounded students, from academics to sports to performing arts. ISB has got you covered. What did we observe happening? What else was there that's not showing that we actually There was a gas, for sure, right? Yeah. Um. ISB offers the International Baccalaureate Diploma Program, which is an advanced college preparation program that is recognized all around the world. Year after year, our IB Diploma students receive passes that are way above the world's average. Students who earn the IB Diploma have a wide range of options for university admissions in the US, Europe, the UK, and Australia. Just about anywhere, really. And every year, ISB students end up going to the best colleges and universities in the world. Today, thousands of ISB alumni are contributing to a better world in all corners of the globe. ISB's teachers are amazing. They truly care about us. And if you had a nice breakfast, we have breakfast today. <laughs> We've been waiting for you. We've been waiting for you to come to this place. Waiting for you to come to this place. Wherever you're from, we're glad that you come. We've been waiting for you to come to this place. They inspire us to achieve our academic potential and be the very best that we can be. We are very passionate about learning and are constantly increasing our standing about how we learn best. We are always reflecting, thinking about what we are doing, why we are doing it, and how we can improve.
Learning at ISB takes on many forms and includes the importance of each and every one of us becoming caring global citizens. One of the ways in which we accomplish this is by taking part in the many service learning opportunities that we have in the Thai community and the wider world. Whether it be helping disabled children, or caring for children at local orphanages, or building homes with Habitat for Humanity, we have countless opportunities to develop and grow as caring members of a global society. Our school also offers many fun clubs and after-school activities, from gymnastics to taekwondo to ballet. ISB truly has something for everyone. And the fun doesn't stop on the weekend. ISB is a place for all sorts of community-based activities, such as Cub Scouts, Girl Scouts, baseball, basketball, soccer, tennis, swimming, and more. At ISB, we are all about being healthy and active. ISB not only provides opportunities for students, but also for our parents. Whether it be volunteering in the classroom or helping sell cool ISB gear at the Booster Hut or coaching a community sports team, ISB provides a great experience for the whole family. We enjoy going to ISB and experiencing all that it has to offer from the lasting friendships that we make to the activities we do. It's like being part of a big family. We work together, we play together, and we have fun together. I feel like I am part of a community here at ISB because everyone is involved and everyone is helping each other out. My friends, my teachers, ISB is more than a school. It is an experience that will be with me forever. We are part of a community. We're part of a family. We are part of ISB. Fantastic, and I will be bringing on the stage our next uh, presenter here, which actually we're going to move away from just talking about a school, but we actually have Mr. Chris Mott. Now, you are actually Chris Mott, not, not your colleague there, David, right? So, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. You are the athletics director at ISB, and you're here to give a presentation or talk to us about uh, sports and athletics. Absolutely. Excited to do so. I think we have some slides that. Excellent. I am going to just pull off the overlay and bring your slides into the screen here. And so you're good to go. Awesome. Take it away. Okay. So welcome. Um, my name's uh, Chris or Mr. Mott, if you're the kids. And um, I'm just here to, to offer some information about our athletics program uh, that offers, uh, we offer here at ISB. So there we are. Okay, and we've got a little bit of video here to start because it's always fun to start with some kids doing fun things. Oh, or maybe not. Maybe not, sorry. That's okay. Oh. So here we are, we're, we're, as it's already been mentioned, we're at an ISB, we're one of the oldest or the oldest school here in Bangkok and history goes back a long way. I think we were at a downtown campus, I believe it was NIST campus. And then we moved all the way out here or we moved out here to to improve our campus and to just offer a few more facilities for our kids. And top right corner is a great picture of an old basketball team. Look at that. So uh, here we are uh, at a new campus and I'm excited to share you what we have and facility wise and then program wise. Our, um, our program is really centered on down the bottom there, the ISB values. So we don't have a separate philosophy in regards to athletics. We believe that you know, care and responsibility and balance in particular is a really important part of uh, what we want to offer our students here at ISB. And we build our campus accordingly. Um, 
And we and the way that we run our programs is all centered around how can we improve or as David shared earlier, how can we better our or show our kids what passions and what they're interested in and what they want to do. So we're not different to to the day. We don't we don't have different ideas. We have the same one and we all work together to make sure um, that we're working the best towards and achieving everything we can for our kids. Um, so here's our facilities, which you've already seen on the video, but I think it's really important to point some of them out. Um, you know, IWF certified 400 meter track. That's actually, it's an eight lane track. It's uh, brand new a couple of years ago. Uh, we host, I think just about every track meet for schools here in the city. Um, last week we did actually three. Uh, we have five athletic fields, all grass, which is an important part to point out, uh, especially with the heat. Um, so we have a, a dedicated baseball pitch and then we have main fields for football, rugby, touch, uh, anything that you could possibly imagine. We have all those facilities. We have 12 tennis courts, five of which are covered. So those hot days or those days that we want to have kids in a, in a different space, we have that option. We have two, two pools. Uh, we have our original 25 meter pool. And then on the other side of the campus, we have a, a 50 lane Olympic pool with 10 lanes, uh, all uh, certified um, timing systems, but also a bulkhead. So the bulkhead can divide the pool into two 25 meter pools, or it can push out to a 50 meter Olympic competition pool. Uh, two weeks ago, we hosted uh, a Thai national uh, swimming qualifier. So we, we do have all those events happening here on campus. We have four air conditioned gyms, one of which is completely dedicated to the gymnastics, as you saw in the video, um, and more on the way. We have a two, two extra gyms that are coming online within the next year or so. And then we have a weight room um, where we, we really focus and dedicate our kids, especially in middle school, as they're beginning old, getting, getting into athletics, a place to be outside of their programs, what they need to be doing uh, off seasons, in seasons. Uh, we have an athletic trainer that works in that uh, weight room. He's certified from a hire in the States and he looks after our kids to make sure that they're recovering right and that they're on the right protocols. I don't, there's no better facility. I've worked in seven different international schools around the world. By far, this ISB has the most amazing facilities uh, for athletics. And I, I can't imagine running the programs that we do uh, without the facilities that we have, because we really utilize absolutely every single space that we have. Um, we have, we've just got a variety of pitches here for our kids, because really everything and every decision we make is centered around the kids and making sure that they get the best experience um, we want our kids, you know, to be, you know, to receive confidence through experience. And the only way to do that is to make sure that there's no cuts, to make sure that no matter what age group, there's kids out there um, enjoying and learning and progressing. Uh, we know that in all different sports, kids develop at different times and we just have to be patient and wait. And when they're ready to try something new, have that space available for them. And that's exactly what we have. Um, we, we play a lot of competitions. We play within the city. We, we uh, play BMAC without, outside of the city. Uh, in, in normal times, we travel uh, internationally with IASIS, which is the world's premier Asian league. Uh, we play uh, Singapore American and Manila and Jakarta. We play all these uh, very, very large uh, and very old and uh, dedicated schools. And together we work to make this amazing opportunity for our international kids or high school kids. We have all those. Um, all of this couldn't be possible, of course. I mean, the facilities are one piece, but what blows me away is simply the, the passionate people that we have both in the classroom, but also outside of the classroom when they're coaching and they're sharing their, their passion with other kids to create more passion. Here's a great example of a swim meet not long ago where we have parents and um, students and, and faculty involved in, in a meet uh, to give kids that experience and, and know what it's like to compete. So we have all that happening. Um, we have baseball, a dedicated baseball facility and softball, which is, uh, I believe, the only one in the city. Um, kids have that opportunity to come out to not even learn, not just learn baseball, but also participate um, and develop their skills if they've come from a country where baseball is probably their primary sport. Um, we have a fast pitch softball. We have our international tournaments where we get to host uh, different events, and then of course our track, um, second to none really, second to none in any in the city, but also just an opportunity for kids to get involved uh, in different in different experiences as they get going through. 
here's our girls touch playing against a different team here in the city but you know even the local schools like to come out because it there's there's fresh air out here there's there's green grass there's uh, a lot of space they're not cramped uh, and they really have a great experience as they come out and uh, we have that opportunity here and we like to share our facilities with as many different people as we can to make sure that everyone's developing at the same time um, and, and sharing those resources with as many different people as we can so we can develop kind of a community not just our own kids but a community around us within the city to make sure everyone's um, getting stronger and there's our uh, baseball field um, some other opportunities we have uh, on the right side, we have our Tri Kids, which is an opportunity each year for kids just to try what is a triathlon and what does it mean and what does it do. And here in Nichita, we have that we have that uh, safety piece that David mentioned earlier. We have bike, uh, bike lanes where kids can get out. They swim in the 50 meter pool. They ride around Nichita. They do a quick run and they have that experience of what it's like to be in a triathlon and compete against other kids. We have different categories just for fun or the competition side. It really depends and it brings out hundreds of kids each year, um, not just our own kids, but from around the city uh, to be involved. We have golf tournaments. Uh, we have one coming up in a couple of weeks where we've rented a golf course for the day to make sure nobody else is involved. And it's just us and our kids in our community and the wider kids in, in Bangkok uh, to have that opportunity to play and feel what that competition is like and experience is like from U11 all the way through varsity. We have our, of course, of course, we have our, our competitive sports, but we also have our community activities where we like to engage in and allow kids um, to grow and learn in different sports. Our community activities program is based around the needs and the wants and the desires. Um, I see a question in the chat about netball. We don't actually have netball right now, but if that we had a group, if it's a great question at the right time, because if we had a group of people that were interested in netball, I'm sure we could get an activity happening in the in the afternoon or in the evening where people can come together and, and enjoy that sport and learn and develop. And that's one of the beauties of having such a large campus, large campus with so many facilities. We have that option to, to do those different things. Um, so our, our, our athletics program is robust, our arts program is robust and, and our service programs, but also we have a bunch of community activities where students are involved and come out and do different things day to day. So it's, it's just amazing to see uh, how busy everybody is. We are the ISB Panthers and uh, we would love to have you visit our campus and check it out. If you have any questions, please do let me know or um, come out and chat. So thank you very much. Fantastic. I really, really appreciate you putting that on, you know, putting this presentation out there. Super fantastic. Um, we do have to move on to our next school, but there are a couple of questions in the chat. If you wouldn't mind, uh, you know, jumping in there and, and, and answering them back, that'd be great. Or, um, you know, we can send them over to you another way. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I see a, a question here from Jacqueline. How do we encourage kids to do sports? I think uh, for me, it's it's all about opportunity. And we encourage our students or all students just to give something a chance. Like go out once, go out twice, go out three times, see what it's like. If you don't like it, hey, let's work together. What did you like about it? Uh, maybe you went out and tried softball. Maybe you like the running, but you don't like the hitting. Hey, no problem. Let's Let's take you over to track and field and let's try that. Or let's try cross country. So it's really about kids don't like us like ourselves we don't know what we don't know uh, but it's about throwing out opportunity and and just trying to find the best fit for everybody um, and if that's if we can't find that then hey maybe we'll look somewhere else in the arts but everybody has an opportunity to be involved and we learn and grow and develop um, to make sure that we can do that um, and i think i i, I addressed the the netball one there already mm -hmm. Stephen. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Chris. Really appreciate you taking the time out today and I wish you the best of your day. All right. You too, mate. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Cheers.